Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today I'm showing the card creation for this interactive card. You'll find a series of videos in the YouTube description below using the same card design with a variety of different paper circuits. However, we thought it would be helpful to make this a standalone video. So let's get started. First, I create my background night sky. I blend prize ribbon, chip sapphire, and black soot distress oxide ink onto a panel of distress heavy stock cardstock. I go back and forth between the colors until I have a smooth blend. As I build up the color on the panel, you can really see the night sky start to come alive. I dry the panel with my heat gun and then set it aside. Next, I blend Lucky Clover, Pine Needles, Rustic Wilderness, and Black Soot Distress Oxide Inks to create a ground for my scene. Once I'm done blending, I let both panels dry completely. Once the panels are dry, I spritz them with water and blot off the excess to create lighter spots. Next, I place the sky panel in my splatter box and spray it with shimmer spray and white iridescent spray. I dry it with my heat gun to create a sparkling, shimmering night sky. Then I stamp images from How You Bean and Little Fireflies for my scene. I stamp the fireflies and lid with Versafine and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder on white cardstock. Then I stamp the jar onto vellum with Versafine and heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. I color the images with Copic markers using cool grays for the lid of the jar. I use cool gray 0, 6, 4, and 2 for the firefly's body. Y11, 17, and 15 for the glowing part, B0000, 000, 000, 000, and 01, along with the colorless blender for the wings. Then I die cut everything with the coordinating dies.
Next, I die cut the stitched hillside borders from the green panel and adhere it to the sky panel. Off camera, I stamp a sentiment from Little Fireflies onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with silver embossing powder before trimming it down to a thin label. Because this will be a light up card, I punch three holes onto the sky panel so that I will have a template for my LED stickers. My hole punch has a fairly long reach, but I have a vellum panel with the middle marked out where the hole punch can't reach. I use that vellum panel to ensure that I've arranged my fireflies outside of that middle area so that my hole punch will reach. As you can see, I need to move the leftmost firefly a little more left so that he's not in the no punch zone. I adhere the sentiments with foam mounting tape and then add the rest of the images. I use vellum adhesive to add the jar and hide a little additional adhesive behind the fireflies and lid. Then I use a pencil to mark where I want my fireflies to light up and then punch the holes for the LED stickers to shine through. Finally, I add those three fireflies with foam mounting tape. Because this is a template card for my series of circuit videos, I'm not attaching it to a card base, but I'm adding magnets and foam mounting tape with the adhesive backing still on it to the back for my circuits. Of course, you can skip the hole punching and just attach the card to a top folding card base, but I hope you'll watch the rest of the videos in this series and consider trying a paper circuit. I guarantee the recipient of your card will love it. And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on our website. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!